Thank you. Um, yeah, hello, I'm Morton. I work for ARM. I work alongside Dietmar and Hong Yan, who's joined me here on, on this presentation. So we're going to talk a little bit about UCLAN, and um, I think Saravana did an excellent job earlier in, in sort of starting the party. So we'll skip quickly over the motivation slide because we all know what UCLAN is and why it's there. Um, it's been in mainline for quite a while um, and it has a few gaps i think in in the current implementation that uh, others have experienced as well um, so we've had a, a, a good look at what are the problems and, and what can we do with it um, and try to fix it so the main issues we really see with UCLAN is, uh, is two things. One is the, the aggregation of the, of the uh, per task UCLAN settings um, when you sort of combine them on a run queue. Do we sum them up or do we use the max aggregation mechanism that we currently have upstream? And the other thing is the, uh, is the complexity of the implementation. Um, at the moment, uh, the implementation doesn't really track the clamp value from the source all the way to where they are consumed and that means that we need to do quite a lot of computation every time we need to use uh, a clamp utilization value um, and perhaps it's time we, we uh, revisit uh, some of the implementation choices we did. Um, I tried to summarize how uh, uClamp uh, works uh, in uh, upstream as it is today uh, as Kai's pointed out in, in, uh, during Saravana's talk, uh, UCLAMP is currently considered a performance hint that's uh, describing the desired throughput rate rather than the, the actual desired throughput, as in a task can, can ask to run at specific frequency, but the request doesn't actually imply any, any throughput uh, reservation, any throughput guarantee. So that means that if you have a run queue of, of, with two tasks on it and you have, uh, for example, UCLAN min set, you just take the max of the min request and that will be the, uh, the uh, min clamp applied to the utilization of the, the combined run queue. So for this example, the, the resulting uh, frequency is the same if we had just one of the tasks on the run queue uh, as if we have two. Um, the the kind of throughput or the compute capacity um, uh, in uh, in UCLAN is is shared with all other tasks that's on the run queue, and that's particularly unfortunate for uh, for UCLAN Max because it kind of in the existing implementation allows UCLAN to place as many tasks on the same CPU. It, it doesn't really have a way of spilling over to the next CPU. So in this example, I've taken uh, five always running tasks, and you can basically, if they all set a UCLAN max of 512, which would be sort of 50% of, of, of peak frequency, it would be totally valid to put them all on the same CPU and keep the CPU at 50% at, uh, of its peak frequency. So while all the tasks are asking to run maximum 50% of, of max throughput, they're actually only getting a tenth of the maximum throughput. And and that's that's allowed in the current implementation, and I think that makes UCLAN, so, especially yeah. Max Clan, be particularly hard to use. So yeah, Dietmar, I have a question. Yeah, you, you can hear me. Yes. Yeah. Vincent speaking. Yeah. So for your second use case, I would say, why are you packing all the tasks on the same CPU? That's the point. I mean, the the point is that the UCLAN there is just to say for this task, I want this. At most, I want this amount of bandwidth. And then you are packing all the tasks on the same CPU, but why, I would say? Well, there's no mechanism to the force the task, the, the task away. Sorry? There is no mechanism to force the tasks away uh, right now. There won't be balance to other CPUs. Yeah, right now. Actually show, show, show that as... So just yeah, because the NLP was scheduling is is want to pack everything as much as possible. No, but this I, is I, no, okay. I think you're taking the example too literally, right? It's just an example of, hey, if five tasks end up on the same CPU, and they all set this UFAM, yeah. they're yeah. affecting others in this way. I don't think you're supposed to see that like, as a literal, like, like this is the only thing that's going to happen, right? 
No, or it's, it's maybe a, somebody's like it's, pending their threads. Yeah, whatever, right? But you still need to operate correctly in that situation. I think that's what. But, but the, the point is, it's there. Is that I mean, you said I don't want more than five. Five hundred. That's uh -huh. the point. And that's it. So that's why for me, it's yes, just. Uh, but, but, I mean, so you, but, you you can't you, you put yourself in a situation where everything is wrong. Change your configuration. You have an example with min. I think we can move on with that one. Yeah, I, yeah. I think using you can't min is a better way to con to convince other people. Like if I say you can't min of one hundred, if there is like a hundred tasks on the CPU and I, I have a you can't min and this min moves me to that CPU, I'm the hundred and first. I'm like I'm living with all the hundred CPUs. And I'm not getting the perform. Uh, I'm not getting the CPU band band the way that I want, even though I specify you can't min. Like the max aggregation cannot solve the problem that you can have like 100 CPU, uh, 100 stuff on the same CPU. Um, yeah, you satisfy the you can't min request, but I'm not really getting any compute power. So yeah, maybe you can't min is a better way, uh, better example. Yeah, yeah, but the same for that. I mean, if you're packing everything on the same. You will have the share that you, you you have requested. I mean, you're you're trying to mix a share, something that is about how many cycles I would like from the CPU and how fast I would like to run on this CPU. No, it's yeah, that passing. It's it what I need. We want we want to argue and in, in in we want to argue that we want to get away from the max aggregation towards some aggregation and just highlight the advantages we will we will get, because one thing is clear with the latest patches in fine energy efficiency view, for instance we letting task into performance domains, which are not able to, to have a proper or a sane energy model calculation because of overutilization. So, um, but anyway, summing this up, we want to get rid of max aggregation and, and, and go to some aggregations and explain the advantages here. Yeah, maybe we can let you guys continue the slides and the way I presented it, you can select, pick and choose which one you want to use. So. Cool. <clears throat> Let me go on. We already spent seven minutes. So I, I tried to summarize here some of the issues we have with the max aggregation uh, implementation. So the current implementation we have per task UCLAM settings, but they're all applied at uh, under run queue utilization. And it has one big advantage, and then that is we don't need to introduce additional PEL derived signals and, and propagate them all the way up and down the, uh, the task group hierarchy and all that. But there is also a long list of disadvantages, I think, that are hard to uh, to, to, to work around. Uh, with max clamp tasks, the uh, utilization doesn't really represent the true compute demand at all anymore. So if the task is running alone and you have an effective clamp, max clamp in place, because of the properties of PELT, the, uh, the utilization will just go to, uh, to 1024. So you can't really say anything about that, that task's the true utilization. And when that gets added up with the other tasks, then you suddenly cannot really distinguish what's going on in the system. And for co-scheduled tasks, they sort of eat each other's utilization, so it will underestimate the, uh, the true compute demand of those tasks. Um, the difficulty to uh, distinguish between utilization coming from clamp tasks where the PILT behavior just keeps the utilization increasing and true Compute unrestricted compute demand is uh, is already there. I mean, there is a patch on the list from from Kai's uh, trying to address that issue, and we have the other problem that if you have uh, a clamp task and a non clamp task on the same run queue, then whenever the the uh, on clamp task runs, because you have accumulated so much. Um, um, pelt utilization while the clamp task was running because it just saturates the pelt signal. You see uh, frequency spikes every time the, the effective max cap is, is called kind of lifted. Um, the other issue is in the implementation of max aggregation, you kind of need to keep track of who's the max uh, clamp setting amongst all the tasks on the run queue. And tracking that is, is kind of tricky. So in the current implementation, we have this, uh, this bucket mechanism, but that uh, kind of erodes the the accuracy of the of the clamp settings because at the moment I think by default we only have four buckets. 
Um, and then there is the whole problem that it's really difficult to reason about what will be the throughput my task can expect if I use max clamping, because you are just asking for a frequency. There is no mechanism that, that kind of says how, when, when should I start spilling over to the other CPUs? Because what is the, what is the true utilization of that task? So looking at those issues, I think it really boils down to two things with the current uh, implementation. One is that uh, UCLAM is not applied at the source. So we kind of add unclamped utilization up and then try to apply those per task clamps to the run queue utilization at the end and we kind of lose information that way so it's difficult to to do the right scheduling decisions and then max aggregation doesn't really provide a clear policy for how do we balance clamp tasks i mean how much do we need to spread them if you have two tasks or many tasks with different clamp settings how much weight should they really carry when you do load balancing so I think there are two possible solutions. Either we dig the hole deeper with, with max aggregation. I think it's already a fairly complex uh, implementation and it will only be get worse if we try to fix the, uh, the current gaps. Or we try something new and see how bad is, uh, is some aggregation. And maybe it is actually worth creating another pearl derived signal if the whole implementation becomes a lot simpler. Um, so who's actually using UCLAM at the moment? We were not quite sure, um, given given the gaps that we we have in the in the mainline implementation, it can't be a huge user base we have. But we know Android is using it. Um, but at least on Pixel 8, they don't really use the full upstream solution. They use it kind of on task level, but then they have something built on top using Android vendor hooks that means that it actually ends up being some aggregation on task group level. So Can it I seems that most users, sorry? yeah? Yeah, like just Service the statement person. about the pixel with the group throttling, uh, there is a bit of misunderstanding over here because this is bad, like the things you are talking about in the slide over here, they are, they've been added for issues with CPU shares usage and starvation problem. Well, I think in the past there has been a talk, so I can understand why it might be related to UCLA Max, but actually what I've done is, is like that first solution you're talking about, the filter, that should be there. So we should be having a filter mechanism to handle the issues. But I do agree that the filtering might not be upstream friendly. I do think there is a third solution that's not in your slide, but I don't think we have a lot of time, so I'll let you go on. But I just needed to, to clear up that this throttling stuff, it's not that it's not really related to UCLAM Max directly. Um, but uh, okay, maybe it's not this one, but Pixel does do addition of UCLAM, right? It has implemented some, maybe it's not the specific configurations. Has it not? I thought Pixel does addition of UCLAM. Maybe it's not the exact configuration, but you guys Additional do UCLAM? Um, no. Like adding the UCLAM from tasks, no? Uh, yeah, that's, it's, it's been done for a different reason, but like I would say that like it's, it's to handle CPU shares related issues. Okay, so but this one's, I did, I did like verify many times because that, that has been crept up, but like no. Okay. I, I think we were aware of this issue that uh, those two config options, they might target uh, the initial problem of CPU shares not giving what you wanted. But I think what in our discussion, we, we, we think more and more that the, the, the sum aggregation of UCLAM Max actually can provide you with this functionality as well. So we could have a mainline implementation, which you guys are using also for your initial CPU shares issue. Uh, but we, we can take this offline. It, it, it's a too long discussion. Yeah, my, my point here is really, can we not agree on a usable upstream implementation of UCLAM? It seems that a lot of potential users are seeing things quite or somewhat different from what we have upstream. And that was kind of where we were as well. So Hanyan has been working hard on uh, on an RFC patch set that's actually on the list that has, that, that has that takes a stab at, at, uh, at some replication. Um, so there are no changes to the user space API. Fundamental goals remain the same. We add a new health derived signal and we propagate that all the way to the run queue. Um, that is making things simpler, but there is also some maintenance overhead in there. So I think that's something that needs to be discussed. It makes the code a lot simpler. We can 
reduce the uh, the lines of code related to UCLAN by about 50%. And the preliminary results we have look fairly okay. It's it's not the final solution. It is an, an RFC, but I think it's worth worth considering if we should uh, try to clean things up here. So we're essentially out of time. I have more slides that you can you can look through offline if you want, with a few examples of, of how it performs. Um, just a quick question. Um, I haven't seen the patch that you're pointing at, but uh, wouldn't you have to clamp with the way that I showed in my patch, like in my slides, like a demo patch or whatever, that where you have to clamp the actual util average? Otherwise, your U-clamp max will never get applied, right? Because you're going to end up picking the highest of the... Yeah, so the way it works is that uh, at, at the task level, we actually apply the clamps directly to the util average. So we have a new util average, U-clamp, that is propagated all the way from the task to, to the root run okay. queue. And in okay, this example... Pretty much kind of what I showed up there. Yeah. Okay. I think it's it's the same thing essentially. I'm all for your proposal. Hey. <laughs> so uh, we, we are we are starting to the break now. So I I, I would suggest uh, uh, you know continuing the discussion in the, uh, on the list or um, in a bot maybe or something like that. If somebody wants to set it up. Uh, because we have no more time. Okay. So, Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for listening. Thank you for bringing this up. Uh, and, uh, and we are now having a 15 minutes break.